All right, so we learned a couple of things in the last episode that I found pretty interesting. One being that Garo is most likely going to be Saitama's next challenge. The other thing being that Blizzard is built extremely well. <laughs> yeah, I love anime. This is amazing. And Sonic took another shot at Saitama. Didn't work out so well. Pretty quickly found out that he's just not at that level yet. But Blizzard was saying that he does fight at S rank. So it's almost, again, a gauge at letting you know like Saitama's about that life. Not that we didn't know that, but it's just, it's nice to see a gauge every so often to see how well he actually does. So let's dive into this episode three of season two and uh, let's see what happens. This man's in bad shape. It's a little bit harsh. He's like, yo, you're laying there looking like you're half dead. It's not what I expected of you. I told you you got to fight like your life is on the line. I'm expelling you. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna need you to leave. That's wild. だが、ある程度の推察はできる。おそらくガロウのことが絡んでいる。ガロって何も聞いてなかったのか。番組の元で死ガロウは。ヒーロー協会本部に凶悪怪人として指名手配。ああ、そうだ。That's how I knew him. それに比べてハゲマンとってなんだよ。ヒーローだね。いかにも俺は無面ライダー。カルシ。カルトはどういう意味かな。君は俺のファンではなさそうだが。見つけた。え？あいつで間違いないのか。ああ、そうだ。よ
前の戦闘スタイルはもう分かった用済みだタンクトップマスターそこまでだガロウ道場の面汚しめくらえ流水合再建I was feeling it didn't go so well for him. Oh, Charanko. Did him dirty. こう来たらさっと言うかでそんでもってこう来たら君がわざわざお見舞いに来てくれるなんて<笑>嬉しいよ埼玉くん I think it would have been funny if they showed that man in the hospital あ,あ,ありがとう怪人を名乗る人間だただし強い恐ろしく強い人間だよ魚の怪人とどっちが強いか分かるか、like、深海王もとんでもなかったけど今回は何か違うんだシルバーファングは厄介な魔物を育ててしまったようだなあの人なんか急に会話に入ってきたんだけど誰か知ってる<笑>ほら S 級ヒーローのタンクトップマスターさんだようガキうん面白そうなもん読んでんじゃねえかこれが S 級ヒーローのキングって言うんだよ一番強いのこのヒーロー名鑑ってのいいなまあそれ一週間だけ貸してくれないかえー、貸すのは嫌だよいいじゃねえかすべてかわされいなされ流されるさらにはこちらの動きを読んだ投げ技やカウンター相手のパワーを利用する技術で倍返しされる従来の怪人の戦闘方法はその身体能力に任せて力いっぱい暴れるものがほとんどだっただがやつは違った人間を壊す専門技術を持っている、うん、強い武術家と試合がしたい I feel like what that was was that was excitement. Like maybe I found somebody else that I could fight and actually have more than a, a one punch, you know, back and forth with him. I think, right? Because that's really all Saitama wants. He just he wants a challenge. I think that he likes saving people, but he's like he said, he's not interested in ranks. He's not interested in who's who and all that kind of shit. Like he just wants a fun, good fight, and he's been looking for it. And he, I guess, he got one with the the. Right, the master of the universe, whatever that guy called himself, like he got thrown to the moon or some shit and had to come back. And there was a couple of moments, but it, there was never a moment that he actually felt in danger, though. It was just more so I couldn't beat this guy immediately, like I have everything else. It just takes a little bit more time. And I think that he wants something that almost like makes him question some shit because then he's going to feel like he's even more in the fight. I feel like I'm com I'm probably a little bit tired during this reaction. I apologize. I rolled out of bed. I thought I felt awake, but I think after this episode, before I record more, I'm gonna have to run and get myself some coffee. So yeah, but Nori de Mo Shikonda Ishukaku Togi Taikai ga atte. Eh, tashka ticket to go. Hora, shiwa shiwa じゃねえか I ろんな流派の技が見れるぞ。ありがとう。じ、チャランコ危険するのか。まあこの怪我だし、賞金三百万って書いてある。まあ大きな大会だからな。優勝で日給三百万。たまにいるんだよな。プロヒーローに喧嘩売るチンピラが。ええ。酒の勢いで絡んできただけならやめとけよ。本当にこんなガキにタンクトップマスターが負けちまったんだ。ああ、イノスウィーズ。一得が狩りなら俺も得意だぜ。サクッと仕留めて。飲み直す。それならこいつでどうだ。冗談だ。今の一発で俺を仕留めきれなかったてめえの負けだ残念だが弾はまだまだある形状記憶玉金ゴールデンブレイクアウトでもないやつだだが最後の一発怪人がすげえだろ終わりだウェルフトブレおじまめんマスターシー店にいないものだから私との約束を忘れたかと思いましたマスターシーよーチコソこんな狭いとこで長物は不利じゃねえのかそれはどうでしょう<笑> I love the sound some of these guys make すかまえた They remind me of Torkel 
あ、<笑><笑> いきぬき、いきぬき。<笑><笑> Wait, so he doesn't know who he is. Oh, he's talking about the thing that he wanted to find, like the, the, what he's there to buy. It just happened to be that Garo was standing in between him and the thing that he was talking about and thought he was talking to him. And so when he hit him, he's just like, it's the big idea, buddy. Like, don't bother me when I'm shopping and just completely knocks him out. No problem. So Garo might end up being the guy that he fights in the future, but he's clearly not there yet. Like, there's no way. Uh -huh. That's actually funny. <laughs> Yo, I'm done. That's great. That's a great way to end this episode. That was amazing. That was amazing. He's like, Yo, I just want to get this wig. I don't know why the hell you hitting me for, but I will floor you. And then the fact that he says, who are you? Garo's got to be like, yo, this guy that doesn't even know who I am just whipped my ass. One shot. Saitama先生,来週の水曜って予定空いてますか?人の頭に勝手に強化戦員職務をしようとすんな。これで格闘大会に出場する。チャランコとしてな。Oh, that's why he's wearing... Okay. ちょっと行ってくるわ. Okay, I wasn't sure why he was wearing it either. I thought he just didn't want to be called the bald cape anymore. So he figured, you know what, if I get some hair... Then they have to stop calling me that. Maybe I can get a cool hero name. But it's just because he wants to look like Charanko and enter this tournament and win all this yen. All right, that makes way more sense. I was like, yo, and Geno sees him and he immediately calls his guy. He's like, yo, listen, can we, we got to do the, the hair implant. Just get it all ready. Black. All right, cool. We'll see you on Wednesday. That's it. That, that, okay, that's funny. That's funny. But the Garo thing, I didn't expect it to be something that happened so soon as far as them running into each other. But he had no idea who he was. And floored that man with one karate chop to the to the neck. So now I'm like, is he really gonna get strong enough to become a, a legitimate opponent to to Saitama? Because that shit was easy. Obviously, his technique—if he was in the middle of a—but see, I, I want to say if he was in the middle of a fight, maybe it would have went differently. But that that was what he thought, though. He thought he was in the middle of a fight. He thought he was attacking somebody who was trying to press him, who was probably lower rank. And maybe you could say that he wasn't prepared or he didn't expect something to come back. He thought, hey, I'm going to hit him and that'll be it. But regardless, like, that's what he went into with thinking. It's not like it was an accident. He got sucker punched. So I don't know. We'll find out. But it, it does feel like he's going to be that guy because they keep building up how strong he is. Only one way to find out. Appreciate you guys. Shout out to my patrons. I'm going to go grab some coffee before I record this next episode because I feel like there's moments where, like, I wasn't falling asleep, but I just kind of get this, like, like low eye kind of look going on and stuff like that. And I feel like it just looks like I'm very uninterested, which is not the case, but it comes across that way. So love you guys. Appreciate you. I'll catch you in the next episode, homies. Hey, they said that I couldn't do what I'm doing. Like, what were you thinking? Were you thinking? They tried to tell me that I wasn't made for this shit. I'm like, what were you thinking? I don't know what he was thinking. Acting like I still got something to prove. Like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? I've been improving. Well, you ain't been moving, my nigga. Like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking?